Let us try to understand how we can define online examination in the system. Before defining online exam, you need to ensure that you have defined subject, its associated topic, and you have already imported objective or subjective type of questions in the system. If you have completed those uh, four steps mentioned over here, then you can click on exam creation process as shown on the screen. As soon as you click on exam creation process, you will be shown the exam management section. In this case, you can click on new button in order to define your online exam. So here you can type your online exam name. Then there are various fields available. First field is allow instant score view. If you want to showcase actual score of the exam to the candidate immediately after completion of the exam, then you can set this field as no. But if you do not want to display the scores to the candidates after completion of exam, then you can set that field as no. It is applicable only in case of objective exam as in case of subjective exams, manual evaluation process is essential. Next thing is allow candidate to review exam. So in this context, if you want to show answers to the candidate after examination process, then you can define it as yes. Otherwise, if you do not want to showcase answer, then you can define it as no. Next field is the duration of exam. Here you can define the actual duration of the exam, say 60 minutes, 70 minutes, 90 minutes. If you want to have negative marking for the exam, then you can click on yes button and define the negative marks. So in this context, say 0.5 marks will be deducted for each wrong attempt by the candidate. Negative marking is applicable for objective or multiple choice based questions exam. Then uh, there is an option available for the exam type. So there are three options available. One is purely objective or multiple choice based questions exam. Another is subjective plus objective or subjective plus theory based exam where candidate can type the answers or both type of exams where both types of questions will be there objective as well as subjective so you can select according to your requirement then there is a facility available for timer for each question so if you want to define timer for each question say after each 60 seconds system will uh, move navigate uh, candidate to the next question automatically and uh, you can define that timer for each question as say 60 seconds, 90 seconds or as per your requirement. If you do not want to keep timer for each question, then you can set this field as no. Next field is enable unique question for each candidate or randomize question. So randomization can be used if you want to have a enable unique question for each candidate. So in this case, if your examination question bank pool has 500 questions and you want to select 50 questions out of it randomly based on the examination criteria so that each individual candidate will get unique 50 set of questions then you can set this field as you otherwise you can set this field as no shuffle questions uh, so if you want to shuffle the sequence of the questions for each candidate then you can set that field as yes then there are configuration facilities available for remote proctoring. If you want to enable remote proctoring for the exam, then you can enable this field as yes. So in case of remote proctoring, there are additional facilities available where you can also record candidate audio around the environment. If candidate is attempting the exam from any location, then system will try to record audio associated with the environment of the online exam. Apart from that, there is also facilities available to capture candidate screen during the online examination process. So if you want to capture the screen, you can set this field as yes. Apart from remote proctoring, system also has facility of lightweight mechanism where system can capture the candidate photo after certain time interval, like say 60 seconds, 120 seconds. System will automatically capture the photograph of the student's candidate attempting the online exam. And it works on a minimum internet speed. 
So this lightweight sort of proctoring is also known as image proctoring. You can very well use this facility in order to capture photos of the remote user who are attending the exam. It will be very beneficial to validate identity associated with those remote users. Next advanced facility is advanced question, allow question navigation. So in this case, if you want to enable question navigation, then you can keep it uh, flag as yes but if you want to disable the navigation of the question then you can set it, this field to the no then there are various schedules available one is flexi schedule another is fixed schedule third is flexi schedule with fixed exam time so if you want candidate to attempt 60 minutes of exam within say four hour duration then you can select flexi schedule but if you want candidate should attempt online exam at a fixed time interval say 10 am to 11 am on certain date then it is recommended you should choose a fixed schedule for the respective exam then there is also facility available to conduct exam in two languages where question will be shown in the two respective languages and candidate can opt for one of the language as a radio button uh, so that uh, entire question will be shown in the preferred language of the candidate Next key step, step while defining your online exam is defining the exam pattern. Here I have selected one of the subject and its associated topic and then I can click on get marks detail button as shown. As soon as I click on it, I can see there are total 19 questions of 2 marks each available for this subject. I would like to select 10 questions for this exam. I can click on the next add selection button. As you can see, Subject name human resource management. There are there is a topic name math and 10 questions have been included. Then I can select next uh, subject topic and its associated questions. So here I have selected subject name human resource management with topic name data science. And as I click on get marks detail, I can see there are 10 questions available of two marks each for the respective topic. I would like to select five questions and I can click on add selection. So as soon as I click on add selection, I can see that total 15 questions of two marks each are being there in the exam. Exam is of say th total 30 marks and passing marks is say 10 marks. Then I can click on generate exam button to define online exam. So this way you can define online exam and exam created successfully message will be shown over here. You can click on go to advanced configuration in order to move to the advanced configuration section. And in the next section, we will show you how to do the setting in the advanced configuration. In the examination section, there is an exam preview button available. If you click on exam preview, you will be shown the actual examination user interface that is being shown to the respective candidates while attempting the online exam. So in this case, uh, you can see the uh, questions along with its uh, multiple choice answer options have been shown. Thus, this preview is very helpful to understand if your questions or online exam has been defined as per the requirement. You can very well verify all the questions of the exam and uh, this preview will be very useful to understand if you have defined the exam as per the requirement. Let us try and understand what are the facilities are there in advanced exam configuration. So right now I am on the section of exam creation and uh, there is a button available for advanced exam configuration. If I click on advanced exam configuration, this screen will be loaded in front of you where I can see name of the exam, then allow instant score view. If you want to show the scores to the candidate on an immediate basis, you can set this flag as yes. Otherwise, by default, you can keep it as no. Enable review questions to the candidate. So if you want to showcase correct answers to the candidate after examination process, then you can set this flag as yes. And by or otherwise, by default, you can keep it as no. Allow question navigation. If you want to disable the navigation of the question, then you can keep this flag as no. 
so that uh, candidate will not be able to navigate to the next or previous questions and candidate will have to attempt online exam questions in the sequence shown by the system by default this uh, navigation is kept on then there are facilities available for remote proctoring so in case of uh, remote proctored exam you can keep it flag this flag as yes so that uh, your exam uh, will be enabled for the proctoring purpose next is capture candidate photo if your online exam is of say image capturing then you can keep it this flag as yes and you can keep image capture uh, image uh, capturing time interval as say 60 seconds 70 seconds 120 seconds as per your requirement so in this case uh, this uh, field has been kept as 60 seconds so after each 60 seconds system will capture the photograph of the candidate who is attempting the exam next flag is related to conduct exam with sections so in this case if you want to show the sections associated with online exam you can keep the flag as yes and in this context there are two facilities available either show the sections as subject name of the subject or topic name so this way you can configure the sections associated with online exam if you want to enable negative marking then you can keep this flag as yes and enter the negative marking so that say one mark will be deducted for each wrong attempt by the candidate then time remaining reminder for the candidate so in this case it, this flag is kept as one minute so whenever one minute is remaining for the exam candidate will be shown the timer in the reminder it will be prompted to the candidate that only one minute is remaining next flag is the maximum number of alerts for switching exam window if you want to disable candidate to be switching and opening any other websites like google.com then you can limit the number of times candidate can switch so in this case this has been kept as three so on the fourth time when candidate try to switch the exam window online exam will be automatically suspended then next flag is allow answer option shuffling so in this context if you want to show the answer options shuffled for each individual candidate then you can keep that flag as yes allow calculator in the exam so if you keep this flag as yes then system will show the calculator on the screen whenever candidate is attempting the exam if candidate want to refer the calculator then uh, that calculator will be shown on the screen itself then show marks for each question in the exam so if you want to showcase the marks associated with each individual question then uh, you can keep that flag as yes so whenever you if you have two marks question three marks question or five marks question in the exam then the respective marks will be shown against each question in the online exam allow mathematical or advanced editor in the exam so if you want to enable mathematical editor this is specially applicable for subjective exam then you can keep that flag as yes and then you can click on update button to update advanced configuration related to online exam and exam option updated successfully message will be shown to you so this way you can easily you know, have an advanced configuration section managed in this examination now i will show you additional things which are available in exam creation section so as soon as you have created your exam you can view the question paper in pdf format as well there is a link available on clicking this link you can view the question paper in the pdf format even there is a facility available for edit exam where you can click on it to edit online exam online exam can be edited only if it is not being assigned to particular schedule if you click on exam details you can see the details associated with online exam all the attributes that you have defined in the online exam that can be seen on clicking this button there is a button available add exam instructions so on clicking this button you uh, examination instruction section will get loaded where you can type the exam instructions in this section all the examination instructions will be available and you can save those instructions 
all the exam instructions will be seen by the candidate prior to start of the exam so i have just saved the examination instructions and then on uh, clicking the uh, continue button i will be redirected to the exam management section as shown 